So with the release of the Neo ET7, everyone is kind of curious about what can the ET7 do in terms of autonomous driving. And here's some news that we need to discuss. But while enjoying the background of ET7 deliveries in Hefei, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit this notification button. As you know, recently I'm putting out much more content and this one is possibly being missed if you are not subscribed because it will not really show up on your front page and so make sure to not miss out on any of this content. Now into the real story. In last year, well that was actually in July, I leaked the story that the head of Xpong autonomous driving unit is rumored to leave the company. Um, that was based on some Chinese media reporting and this is actually not a head of um, uh, autonomous driving in, in Xpeng, but actually the product manager. Now, since today we have the news where this important persona is going to, he's going to Neo, and he seems to be taking the position here with Neo to become also the head of product for Neo's autonomous driving, the NAD subscription release. Now, in this new role and position at Neo. Um, Harry Wong, or his Chinese name is Huang Xin, he already made an announcement talking about the um, capabilities of Neo Pilot, showing also two images uh, that are kind of leaking here, some visuals of Neo Autonomous Driving, and um, well, basically the improvements that it's been doing in terms of visualizing well, what is um, yeah, recognized on the road. And let's see what Harry Wong has got to say about this. So this is the translation of this Weibo post that you've just seen. And the first point he's making that some uh, functionalities have been delivered on time. For example, adaptive cruising, lane center assisting, and turn signal control lane change. He says that this is quite an achievement uh, in particular for the lane changing because this is actually an advanced technical dimension compared to just lane keeping, which is another assisted driving functionality. And lane keeping only requires forward perception and lane changing instead uh, with the blinker on uh, must incorporate lateral perception as well. And Neo delivered this on time and the ET7 comes with this feature as a standard as announced already in January 18th. And then he's also talking about some problems here, for example, in the visuals that you've just seen about the uh, recognition of what is going on on the street and how the car is actually recognizing the traffic. There's a problem with the four-wheeled pickup that is recognized as a 10-wheeled truck, so a, a larger lorry, uh, because there are only so many car models in the library, so in the visual library, and these are all static models. And so it's basically outlining how this is like the first iteration of visualizations with the operating system 3.0 and that there will be of course improvements to that. So this is referring to this picture where you can see a smaller truck or van here being recognized as a very large lorry which seems to be limited by the current um, operating system version and continuously should be improved in order to show really what is going on in the traffic here. So with that, we have confirmation that this um, head of product from Xiaopong is actually moving to Neo. And as well on top of that, he seems to be outgoing and starting to talk about what the ET7 can do and how it relates to the timeline and to the expectations uh, that the users and also uh, the industry insiders are having. And so I'm wondering, if we are going forward hearing more from him and maybe the team around, for example, Ren Xing, but I think they're even hiring more people. And so it's not really surprising to me that Neo is attracting um, the best talent in the industry there. And so, as I've mentioned before, personally, I've, I'm quite confident about the prospects of Neo Autonomous Driving that is going to be fully released in uh, Q4 in terms of fully with the first iteration. And then of course we will see improved changes with the software capabilities. But for now, as outlined here um, by this persona already with the advanced driver assisting features such as lane keeping, lane changing and other things currently. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you find it insightful. Once again, make sure to subscribe and click the notification button and then see you in the next one.